Hi, my name is Andy Malley, and this is Glimmer DSL for SWT, tutorial number two. So last time I showed you a quick Hello World example, as well as a more sophisticated example of Tetris. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through how to install the library and how to get started with it. Uh, so first of all, there's the prerequisite of JRuby and Java. You need to have them installed, and the quickest way to do it is through RVM. I already have them installed, so if I run RVM list, it's going to show your Ruby on top. Uh, so next, you can use the jgem command, which is the JRuby equivalent of gem in Ruby. So I can do jgem install glimmer-dsl-swt, and that's going to start fetching some uh, gem dependencies and then install them one by one, and finally conclude that by installing glimmer-dsl-swt. And as you can see, it's done. Uh, however, on the Mac, I need to do one more thing, which is run glimmer-setup. And that basically configures this option for us globally. Uh, start on first thread, which is required by the SWT library. And once you run it, you never have to worry about it again. It's configured now. So now we get access to two more commands, which is the glimmer command and the gerb command. Uh, however, I need to start a new shell session, so I'm going to open a new tab and now run glimmer space samples. And that should start the glimmer meta sample, the sample of samples that I showed you last time. However, today we're going to go through uh, a different sample, which is the hello message box. So let's launch it. And as you can see, it's, it's simply a window with a button in it. Uh, so, uh, if we were to look at the code, uh, the first concept you need to grasp in Glimmer uh, DSL for SWT is widgets. So, uh, widgets are basically the way that users could in interact with applications in graphical user interfaces. Uh, so, here we have a shell widget, a button widget, and a message box widget. So, if I were to click, we should get a message box and it says, congratulations, you won a million dollars. Uh, so widgets are declared by their name and they're followed by curly braces for the content. And then within the content, you can have other widgets, but also you could have properties. So that's the second concept you need to grasp. Uh, properties uh, describe widgets and enable you to configure them. So here uh, the shell or the window has a title a text of hello message box and you can see it here. And then the button text is please click to win a surprise and you can see it here. And finally, when I click it, the message box has two properties, uh, a text of surprise, which is the title, and a message of congratulations, you won a million dollars, which you can see over here. Uh, we're running on uh, the latest Mac, Mac uh, Monterey, and Mac Monterey basically uh, changed the style of message boxes so that it does not have a title anymore. Uh, it's simpler. However, on Windows and Linux, you should still see the title, and, as well as uh, older versions of Mac. Um, so, uh, finally, that brings us to the third concept, which is uh, listeners or observers. Uh, a button has an observer, and it always starts with the keyword of on, on underscore, and then the event. So here, on widget selected, meaning uh, I click the button, or I hit space on the keyboard, uh, or even enter. Uh, it's going to basically activate this listener which will construct a message box and then open it. Uh, open is the fourth concept you need to learn, which is uh, a method or an operation. So widgets could have methods or operations. Uh, you just saw how we could open a message box, uh, but also if I, if I were to close the app and relaunch it, it shows you how to open the shell because the shell also has an open method on it. And that concludes the tutorial for today. Uh, you could play around with the samples and get acquainted with the Glimmer uh, DSL for SWT uh, uh, library. Uh, and also, in order to learn more, check out the GitHub project for Glimmer DSL for SWT.